Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on introduction to R programming for clinical SAS programmers. In this series, we are exploring SAS programming feature equivalents in R Tidyverse package. In this video, we will see how to create Cartesian product when we are interested in merging data sets. So let's say we have this data set called dummy01 in which there is one row for each of the possibility for the sex variable to be displayed in a categorical uh, summary table. Let's say we have a second data set in which we have all the four possible treatment. Uh, we have a row for each of the possible treatment in the study design. And I am interested in creating a row for each of the row present in this input data set for each of the possible treatments in the study. So here we have three rows here and four treatments. So I want to replicate each row of the input data set in dummy 01 with all four treatments. So I will end up having three multiplied by four as 12 records in the output data set. So I want to create a data set which looks something like this. So how do we create this in SAS first? So the easiest way to create Cartesian product in SAS is to make use of SQL procedure. So the syntax is we need to specify the name of the newly created data set on the create table statement. And then we have to select all the variables using select clause. And the key thing is that we need to specify the, both the names of the data sets dummy01 and the uh, dummy treatments in this case on the from clause separated by a comma. So when we run this syntax, this output data set which will have the Cartesian product created which is the number each row of the left hand side will get replicated for each row present in the right hand side data set. So let us now see how we can replicate it in R tidyverse package. So the syntax is very simple here. We have a function called cross join. So in which we need to specify the names of the input data set. So here I am specifying dummy 01, which is my data set, which contains a row for each of the possible combination in sex variable. And then the second data set, which is dummy treatments, which has one row for each of the possible treatments in the study. So when I execute this piece of code, I'll get the same result. So let us now move on to the demo. So let us have our R and SAS session side by side. So here I have my piece of code which is creating my input data sets. So let us run these two input, let us run this code which creates the two input data sets for us. So I have run this piece of code, check my log and they are clear and let us quickly open dummy 01. Here if you see we have one row for uh, one row for male, female and missing and we have a second data set which is called dummy treatments in which there is one row for each of the possible treatments and there are four treatments in total. And now let us try to execute this piece of code which gives us the Cartesian product. So let us run this and see the result. So let us check the log. So our log, uh, it says the execution of this query involves performing one or more Cartesian product joins. So it is clearly telling us that Cartesian product has been uh, uh, created. So let us open dummy 02 and take a look at this output. So here if we see, so we have male under treatment 1, male under treatment 2, male for treatment 3 and male under treatment 4. So each row, so there was only one row for male in dummy 01 and that is now replicated for each of the treatments. Similarly, the case for female and missing rows as well. Let us now move to the R environment and then try to execute. Let's first create the input data sets. So I have selected that three, line, three steps and then I'm executing the code. Let us check dummy 01. I have three rows here. And then I have my dummy treatments, which I have four rows. Let us now execute this piece of code, which is using cross join function uh, to create Cartesian product. So let us run this and examine our dummy 02 data set. Here, if we now see there are total 12 rows, which is a product of three observations from dummy 01 and four observations from dummy treatments 3 multiplied by 4 is 12 so this is how so here if you see now we have male row for all four treatments 
and female row for all four treatments and missing row for all four treatments. The order of rows in the output immediate output data set is slightly different when compared to the SAS versus R studio, but we can of course you make use of arrange function to reorder the uh, rows as per the requirement in R studio or if you want to change the order in uh, SAS we can make use of order by clause of uh, proc SQL itself or we can use a further proc sort step to sort them as per the requirement. So this is how we can create Cartesian product in both SAS and R. Thank you for watching and keep learning.